G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again to bring you video 9 of the Super Mario Bros tutorial in Construct 2. This time around, we're going to be creating a Goomba. And before I get started, a massive call out and thank you to Dirty Noob, who's done a little bit of research and pointed out that my breakable blocks aren't as accurate as the original game. So, when we get near the end of this series, I'm going to put up a couple of polish and fixing videos, because I know there are things that I will have to fix up, and we'll deal with them then. So thanks again, mate. But let's get started for today. Now let's focus on, first of all, getting the graphics for our Goombas and setting up our project so we can use him. So, I've once again shared in the description of this video a Goomba.zip file, okay? If you can download that file, we're going to open it up and there's a folder which have got all the pictures that we need for the graphics. So, just like we've done all those times before, I'm going to copy those and I'm going to jam them inside my graphics folder just so I've got a copy of them. All right. I've given you two pictures with this one here. The first one is the walking animation. The second one is the dead animation. All right, and we're going to need both of them, obviously. Close, close, ready to go. So the first step in this one is we are going to adjust Mario before we actually do anything with the Goombas. Because I realized that when Mario gets hit, he starts flashing. And while Mario is flashing, he can't actually be hurt again. So what I mean is if he's a big Mario and he shrinks, He's flashing that whole time, and he can't actually be hurt until he stops flashing again. So we need to add in something that allows us to be able to do that. So first step, can I get you to click on Mario? We're going to add a new behavior to Mario for this one. So behaviors, add, and it's called flash. There's absolutely no properties to this one here. It's all through code. What you do is you trigger a flash, and it lasts for a certain amount of time, and then it stops. So while Mario's flashing, well, when he gets hit and he's big, we're going to trigger the flash. And when he stops flashing, he's going to be able to be hit again. But during that flash, he's not going to be able to. So we're going to add that code later. Let's add our Goomba. So right-click on your Object Types folder. Add a subfolder. Enemies, because there's a couple of them we're going to be creating. Okay, and now I'm going to create a new sprite. So Insert Object, Sprite, Goomba. Create, just click anywhere, and let's load up the graphics. So start off with the walking animation. That's his default animation. So right-click down here, import frames from a sprite strip. We've done this before, hundreds of times. Okay, let me just make sure I'm in the right folder. Downloads, Mario, graphics, Goomba. There we go. Two cells, one cell, perfect. Tick, okay. Okay, and we have our graphics. Now, there's not a lot we need to do to adjust our Goombas. I pretty much set them up exactly how we need. The image point's a little bit off on the zero frame, though. We need to put that at 11, 10 for that one. So if you can quickly adjust the image point, origin image point, that is, to the nose, basically, of our Goomba. The second thing we need to adjust on both frames is the collision model, because this is not going to cut it. We need to bring it down and in on the sides. So let's quickly adjust those, just like we've done plenty of times before. Click, click. Now I could probably get Construct to try and guess the collision model, or I can just spend 60 seconds and I can adjust it myself. Okay, it's seriously not that bloody hard. Okay, if you can't be bothered doing this, then stop watching these videos, because they're going to go for a while. All right, there's our collision model, there's our image point set up, and Mr. Goomba is pretty much ready to go. We're going to quickly add in a second animation, though, which is his dead one. So right-click up here, add animation, dead. Okay, and let's import our dead frame. Dead. And delete the zero one. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the collision model for this guy because we're actually going to disable his collisions once he dies. So don't stress about the collision model. But what we are going to do is put the image point at 10, 11. Okay, so 10 on the X, 11 on the Y. The last thing that we need to do is create or set up the default animation speeds. So if you don't like these speeds, if you think they're a bit wrong, okay, you can always adjust them. But I used speed 6, and I made sure his default animation was looping. We don't need to worry about dead because there's only one frame and it doesn't animate. This one, however, speed 6 and make it loop. All right, Goomba image, done. And there's my Mr. Goomba. He's ready to roll. Now, let's add our behaviors. It's simple. This one, the Goombas work almost exactly like the mushrooms, and that seems strange, but it's pretty damn accurate how they work. So basically, he's going to walk to the left until he hits a wall, and then he's going to turn right and walk the other way. Okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to set the max speed to 20. We're going to set his acceleration to minus 50, minus because I want him to start moving left straight away. 
okay? And then deceleration to zero, because I don't want him to ever stop. And then default controls, no. So those are going to slow him down, make him walk to the left, and turn off the default controls. Time to program this guy, so let's add in another event sheet. So right click on your event sheets, add event sheet, Goomba. And make sure in event sheet one, you've included it. All right. Now that we're ready to go, I'm going to take a break from the Goomba and we're going to fix Mario's code quickly. And then we're going to finish off the Goomba. He's going to be pretty quick, to be honest, because we can copy a lot of the code we did last time. Now, we need to modify this function right here. When Mario is hit, we need to check if he's invincible or not. If he's not invincible and he is big, we need to make him flash while he's shrinking. Okay, so first things first, let's make sure Mario is not flashing when this function is called. So I want you to click on this condition here, press C to add in a new condition. We're going to check Mario and just type in flashing and there is the event that we want. But we don't want it if Mario is flashing that he can be hit, press I. We want it that if he is not flashing, he can be hit. So the first time we run this, he shouldn't be flashing if he's big. We then make him flash. And if this gets called again, for whatever reason, while he's flashing, he doesn't get hit. All right, so that's going to control not being hit too much. Add a new action under the is big. So under this here, click add action. Go to Mario. Type in flash. It's as simple as that. And the settings I used that I thought were pretty darn accurate for on time and off time was 0 0.02. This is probably pretty darn quick, to be completely honest. And the duration was three seconds, I thought seem like a pretty good but you need to make sure that is at the very top of your Mario so when Mario gets hit he's gonna start flashing whilst he's flashing he can't be hit again as simple as that okay now it's time to get the Goomba animation so if you're not ready please pause and go from there I said Goomba animation I mean Goomba event code add a group Goomba movement I put dash movement on the end because there's gonna be more than one movement group that we're gonna use okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my items event sheet. I'm going to steal the code that we had for our mushroom moving back and forth. And I'm going to paste it underneath this group here. So go to items, expand mushroom. And we're going to steal all this except for obviously the grow function. So I want to click on this one, hold shift and click on the fourth event. And this is what I'm going to copy. So control C or clicky copy button up here. Go to Goomba and paste. Okay, you'll notice how this isn't under my Goomba movement group. So I'm just going to click and drag the tab up and across. Now obviously all this says mushroom, okay, and this has to change because it's inside a Goomba event sheet. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is double click on this action here. We're going to go back a couple, type in Goomba, and then make sure it's the right action. So where it says simulate, so type in simulate it should still say right, and it just changes that to Goomba. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to change everything that says Mushroom to Goomba. And that includes these ones down here. We don't actually have to change the acceleration or the velocity code. It should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to turn this video off. I'm going to change them all, and I'll be back in a second to finish it off. Well, to continue. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So I've changed all my mushrooms into Goombas, as you can see here. No other changes have been made. But we do need to add one little thing, okay? And this is going to control whether or not the Goomba can move when he's dead. And we don't really want that. So click on event two, click C for another condition. We're gonna check if the Goomba is playing the default animation, which means he's walking around so we can simulate his walking. So as soon as he becomes dead, he's not gonna be walking around, which is exactly what we want, okay? So the next stage, everybody, I just realized two little things. I didn't move my Goomba into the right folder. And I set the image point for the dead to the wrong position. So let's quickly fix that. Let's click on dead. Zoom in. Make sure it's set to 1010. Okay, I already changed mine while the video wasn't recording. So can you make sure that the dead image point is 1010? All right, sorry about that. Otherwise, he's going to be one pixel off the ground. So, next thing, let's add in a new group. And the best thing, what we're going to do now, is kill Mario or kill the Goomba. So, the best name I could think of was Goomba versus Mario. I still like the dash there, just for consistencies. Alright. 
Let's check whether or not Mario has run into the Goomba. Mario, collision with a Goomba. Not a Boomba, a Goomba. <laughs> Alright, so Mario on collision with a Goomba. Now, what is the difference between Mario dying and Mario killing? Okay, the difference is Mario jumps on top of the Goomba, the Goomba dies. So Mario has to be falling from a jump, okay, for him to be able to kill a Goomba. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sub-event under this one, and I'm going to check if Mario is falling. Okay, and this, if Mario is falling and he hits the Goomba, then the Goomba dies. Okay, so how does Goomba die? He gets squished, Mario jumps back up because he jumped on top of him. We wait a second and then we get rid of the Goomba. There's a couple of steps involved for that, so let's do that now. Let's add an action. Let's go to Mr. Goomba. And let's disable his collisions first of all, so we can't jump on him again or just accidentally do something wrong within that one second time before we destroy him. Let's send Mario the other direction. So go Mario, vector Y, minus 200, and that's going to send him straight up. And gravity's going to bring him straight down. Next step, let's Goomba disable the platformer. So enabled. Okay, Goomba, set platformer disabled, and let's set the Goomba, let's set his animation to dead, so he gets squished, then we wait a second, system, wait one second, and then we destroy the Goomba, so Goomba, destroy, alright, a fair few steps involved, but let's test this out, let's run the layout, let's make sure it works, boing, squish, cool, as I said, we don't get points, we're going to worry about that in a later video, okay? When we actually do the interface. Now, this is Mario when he falls on top of him. If Mario isn't falling, he would be either running or just starting to jump, which means Mario should get hit by the Goomba, where he can either shrink or he can die. So what I want you to do is I want you to press X for else to come up. And all we need to do is function, call function, hit. And that's going to take care of everything for us. Okay, whether he shrinks, whether he dies, etc, etc, etc. Alright, so let's test this out. Run the layout. Make sure he works. He should shrink and flash. I should be able to jump on top of him. There you go. And we should be able to die realistically if we get hit twice. So, bleh. And, bleh. That's it today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down the bottom. I'd love to hear from you. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching again. Ta-ta for now.